that's just motivation right there. We've been working at it. We've been wanting to get that boot back for a while now. The East High Thunderbirds going to week three against Rifle Bartlett in the battle of the boot. East is looking to win back the boot after a two-year drought. Now, when it comes to game time, both sides will be all in to make sure they not only honor the boot, but win a game against a respected rival. You know, the kids really like this game. Uh, they know most of the kids. Both sides do. It's almost like family against family a little bit. And uh, besides that, the way things are looking out, it could be a huge conference uh, win or loss for both teams. So this could come down to be a really big game other than just having the obviously significance that the boot holds. As for Ease, they know their opponent very well and understand they have to take into account all the great players Bartlett has on their roster, like Ethan Falonico, who just in two weeks has over 600 yards rushing. I think he's probably the best back in the state as of now. I mean, you can't, I don't see anybody else standing out like that. And, uh, you know, I think the best thing to do is scheme it up as well as you can. Uh, try to really execute good form tackling and hang on. But the Thunderbirds also have something to offer in this game as well. Their offense and defensive lines have some big boys on it with an average weight of 330. Quarterback Carson Washburn appreciates the protection they give him throughout each game. It's nice to have that comfort back there. It's, I've gotten used to it. It's pretty nice to have. Just worry about your receivers and not so much the defenders. Just trust that your line's going to have them. And when looking at the East team this year, there has been much improvement. And part of the reason why is because of head coach Jeff Trotter, who added more coaches to the team to influence players to be the best person they can be. Big difference, and I've been saying this since the offseason, is we were lucky enough to uh, bring on a lot more coaches. So we went from basically four or five varsity on staff to now 10 coaches on varsity staff. So, I mean, there's not a time or a day where people aren't getting looked at or watched. So nobody gets away with anything. There's guys constantly moving around. So it's just a quicker pace practice. We get done earlier, it's more efficient, we get more done. I think we got a lot more aggression this year. I think we got a lot more people that are dedicated or motivated. We got a lot of goals that we want to accomplish this year and we're just set on that. All these changes aided the Thunderbirds to be better as a whole. Uh, we're, starting to, we're starting to talk a lot more and you know our bond is growing every day and you know the trust in everybody is getting better. So you don't have trust in your line or anything, you don't have a team. Overall, this is a new and improved East High Thunderbird squad looking to do battle with the Golden Bears to retrieve a boot that is highly valued.